It's no quite new, way. isn't it? No. Can you imagine if I supported Portsmouth, what they'd say when I went home? I'm only saying I wouldn't it. come out alive. I'm only saying it because James took me up the spinnaker once and I really liked it. Is that that weird tower that they put up? Yeah, and you can see Which is supposed out. to be finished for the millennium. Yeah, that's the but one. But it's finished now. Yeah. Six years later, yeah. Oh, right. I'm not supporting Portsmouth, no way. What do you think, Lloyd? No, you shouldn't support Probably a bad Portsmouth. idea. Yeah. Is there anything I need to know for the start of this season, Lloyd? Well, last night, England played Greece in a friendly at Old Trafford. England have a new manager, Steve McLaren. I knew that. And a new captain, John Terry, yeah. for them. Last night, they took the team into a new era and a new direction. It's good to speak to you again, Lloyd. Yeah. What have you been getting up to on your holidays? Well, I've been really busy practising my football to try and get into the team next year. Which team? The school team. Okay. Don't you remember he got into the B team once? Yeah. But that's because everybody was off sick. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh, Lloyd. <laughs> it's okay. No. Okay, so you're hoping to get in the main team, yeah? Yeah. Lloyd? Yeah? Have you seen much of your girlfriend the holidays? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, is that off? I'm sorry. Yeah, and what's this about James moving in, Laura? <laughs> <laughs> Don't have a go at me. How do you feel about that, Lloyd? I thought I had a chance. <laughs> Hang on a second. You've just completely swerved the question. What's, what's happening with your girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm? <laughs> what? Nothing. Are you still seeing her? Yeah. Okay, what was her name again? I don't want to say. All right. How many months has it been now? Long time. Has it? Yeah. Are you go is it serious? Yeah. So you think she likes you, yeah? Yeah. Who wouldn't, though? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what we could do, though, if she does ever dump you, yeah? Yeah. Remember One Night with Laura, where we went around the country on a big bus, searching for Laura's love? Yeah. We could do One Night with Lloyd. Yeah. Like a junior edition. <laughs> yeah. So, do you want us to go ahead with this, um, finding you true love thing, or do you want to stick with what you've got at the moment? Um... Go ahead with it. <laughs> you want us to do that? Yeah. Because it worked for Laura. Look, she's moving in with him now. Yeah, but he didn't win. He didn't win, but we still found a love. He's a loser. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> That's her actual boyfriend you're talking about there. A loser. <laughs> okay, well, we'll be in touch about that, maybe. Lloyd, all right? Okay. It's really good to speak to you again. Okay, can I just say congratulations to my oldest brother with four Bs? And congratulations to Ewan with four A's and a distinction in his extended history exam. Wow. Is Ewan your brother? One of your brothers? No. Who's Ewan? Ewan's my mum's godson. Okay. Well done to them. That's really Jack's good. That's my brother. Okay, Jack's cool. my brother. Listen, Lloyd, it's been great to speak to you again. Let's do it more over the football Kate. season, yeah? Okay. All right, see you soon. Love you. Love you. Radio 1 Podcast. The Scott Mills Daily. Right, a bit of an update for you now. We did this random act of kindness for a little girl called Molly back in November last year. A guy called Andy sent me an email. Now, he's a good friend of Molly's family. And Andy explained to us back then that Molly was just six years old and she'd been really, really very ill for two years. Molly was first diagnosed with cancer when she was just a little girl of four years old. But she got through all that, and just at the point when they thought they'd be given the all clear, they were told the cancer had come back once again. Now, at this time, when we spoke to her back in November, Molly was really very ill, so Andy said she kind of needed something to even temporarily put the smile back on her face. So we rang up Molly, and we surprised her while she was ho in hospital after her last big bout of chemotherapy. She was kind of in a room in the hospital all by herself, feeling not the best, so we decided she truly, truly did deserve one of our random acts of kindness. Hello. Hello, is this Molly? Yes. Hello, Molly. Hello. Um, my name's Scott, and I'm calling from Radio 1. Mm. Do you know Radio 1? Yes. Yeah. Now, listen, Andy's got in contact with me because he says mm -hmm. that, um, you're having a bit of a tough time lately. And, uh, you're in hospital right now, aren't you? Yes. Okay. What's been happening today, Molly? I've had an X-ray. And the radio lady's in the room right now. Okay. Now, Molly, someone's told me that you like CBeebies a lot. Mm-hmm. Is that true? Yes. Do you watch it a lot? Yeah. 
I'm watching it now. Are you? Mm-hmm. What's one of your favourite programmes on CBeebies? Um, Tweenies. So you like the Tweenies, yeah? Yeah. Now, Molly? Mm hmm I've got someone here that wants to have a quick word with you, is that all right? Yeah. So make sure you have a nice chat, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm passing them over now. Here we go. Is that Molly? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know who this is? Quote. It's Jake from the Tweenies. <laughs> 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 Hello, how are you? Alright. Ah, uh, what's so funny? Why are you giggling? <laughs> what's so funny? Ah, <laughs> uh, Molly, it's lovely to talk to you. Mm. Are you in the hospital at the moment? Yeah. And are they looking after you at the hospital? Yeah. Ah, uh, that's good. Well, Molly, um, I would like to um, invite you to come to the show and then meet us after the show. Would you like that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Then you can meet all of my friends like Milo and Fizz. Oh, and mm -hmm. Bella. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, and what about um, Doodles? Do you like Doodles? Yeah. But do you know who sorted this all out for us? No. Do you know Andy? Yeah. It's him. He sent me an email. Did he? Yeah. Mm. Do you want to say thank you to him? Because if he hadn't sent me an email, it wouldn't. this wouldn't have been happening now. Mm. So here he is. Hang on. Hello, Molly. Hello. How are you? All right. Hey, was that good speaking to the tweenies? Yeah. Thank you, Andy. That's all right, Molly. We all love you very much. I love you too. So that was Molly when she really wasn't very well at all uh, late last year when we spoke to her. Now loads of you all the time uh, sent emails and texts asking how she's been getting on and we can find out. Let's speak to Molly's mum, it's Emma. Hiya. Hi. You right? Yes, thank you. So tell us, how's Molly getting on then? Yeah, she's doing really well. Um, we've had a CT scan and it was clear. We go again in September to Edinburgh. So we have them every three months now for scans. And at the moment, um, she's doing really well. Excellent, because, I mean, we've got a lot of people every day asking us on the text and on email how she's getting on. Mm -hmm. So what's she been up to? Well, she's back swimming now, um, and she started back horse riding, um, and she's got loads of unruly curly hair now. Um, just doing normal things that normal children do, having a really good time, really good summer holiday. Because she lost her hair, didn't she, yeah. while the treatment was on? Yeah, she did, yeah. Right, so that's all back. Yeah, really curly, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because she was very ill last time we spoke to her, wasn't she? Yes, she was. We're going through high dose therapy for the last time we spoke to you, which wasn't very nice for her. Yeah. But um, she comes through that, and um, well, she's just come on leaps and bounds ever since then. Wow. We've had a few set mummies. She's had shingles and a bad ear infection since we spoke to you, but she's got over that. She's a um, strong little thing, bless her. She's brave, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is. She's very brave. Bless her. What she's she's come through a hell of a lot. Yeah, she has but she just seemed to take it in a stride and did really well. That is fantastic news. We are all genuinely pleased. We really are. Yeah. So, um, what does the future hold now, then? Uh, we have to go every three months now for um, chest x-rays and ultrasounds just to check that everything's right. She, she won't get the all-clear until five years. I mean, she's, first year's at worst risk, sort of, say, and then from there up till five years, and then she'll get the all-clear after five years. So just keep our fingers crossed for five years. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. But it's all good at the moment. Yeah. You must be quite relieved. Yes. Yeah. You could see her now. You wouldn't know that she'd been poorly for two years. She just, she's grown two inches, and they said that she wouldn't because the radiotherapy going across the spine twice. Um, and just, Scott Mills, Molly. And um, <laughs> she's doing really well. That's excellent news. Yeah. She sounds like she's running around all over the place. Yes, yeah, she is, yeah. <laughs> Roll on the summer holidays, that's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> can I have a word with her? You can indeed. Hold on one second. Thank you. Scott. Hello. Molly. Hello. Hello, it's Scott from Radio 1. Okay. How are you? Okay. Do you remember when we called you up and uh, it was Jake and Doodles? Yeah. Did you go and meet them? Yeah. What was that like? Well, Sarah Jane and Justin predicted it. They what? They were on stage first. Right. And then Andy Pandy came up. Yeah. And just waved at us and then boo. But Justin couldn't see him. Oh, really? Yeah. But it was a good day, was it? Yeah. Because you were very surprised and quite excited when you spoke to him on the phone, weren't you? Yeah. What are you doing? What am I doing now? Yeah. I'm doing a show on the radio now. Oh. Yeah. Exciting, eh? Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling at the moment, Molly? Fine. Because you went through um, quite a few nasty kind of things, didn't you? Yeah. What was that like? Horrible. Was it? But you're yeah. feeling better now? Yeah. 
That's good news. Your mum says your your horse riding and your hair's back and everything. Yeah. So it's all kind of getting back to normal. Yeah. Excellent. Well, listen, we just want you to know we think you're a really, really brave little girl. Okay. Yeah. So I just wanted to let you know that we're still thinking about you. Thank you. And we are really, really glad that you're doing good. Okay. All right. Scott. Thank you for letting me talk to the tweenies. That's OK, no worries. Listen, it's really good to talk to you, all right? OK. OK, we're still thinking of you and we will speak to you again soon, all right? Uh, OK. Glad you're OK? Yep. <laughs> Bye. Bye. This is Radio 1. Radio 1 podcast. The Scott Mills Daily. This is a download from the BBC. For more information, go to bbc.co.uk slash radio 1. Radio 1.